This is some green light good stuff called butt sniffing pugs, which, let's face it, I have to cover because look at the doggos. Look at that big old doggo. Oh, look at the little papa. He's sniffing a butt. Oh, and that pug's angry, but that one's embarrassed. But they're friends, really. The dogs are selling stuff. Those are dogs with market stalls and bones at the doghouse. What? Oh, God. Pug powers? Well, that's just... He's licking a frog. That was a, a pug licking a frog. And that's a jelly jellyfish in a pond? I don't think that's normal. But that's fine, because now the pugs are riding swans. And they've, they've pugged around. To get a kigurumi? I think... I don't think I said that right. But you can... Oh, shit. You can dress them up. Fuck. This is a game changer. This is a game changer. You can dress up the doggos and make them lick frogs. Pfft. What more do you need? I don't need any more than that. I'm happy with all of that. That's fine. Butt sniffing pugs. That's available for your voting on green light now. Doggos. Okay, so let's look at what this one's all about. It's uh, planned to come out early 2018, so that's uh, quite a while, quite a wait for that one. But Butt Sniffing Pugs is a one to two player city life exploration game about pugs, butt sniffing, and friendship. Three great things together at last. In other words, it's a game about using pug powers to explore daily creative and goal-oriented tasks in the unique world of Central Bark. Oh, that's clever. Want to unlock all of Central Bark by solving your morning, noon, and night quests? Just want to make loads of money so you can fully upgrade your doggy treehouse? Oh, it's a treehouse. Or maybe you just want to befriend the local dog folk. BSP allows you to progress the way you want to play. And this has been inspired by games like Animal Crossing, Banjo-Kazooie, and Nico Atsume, Kitty Collector. They want to create an interactive virtual world that everyone can enjoy. Uh, that's pretty cool. The uh, trailer makes it look almost like a, a traditional point-and-click adventure game, uh, which is fine. I was already interested in that, but as a, an Animal Crossing, Banjo-Kazooie style, world building exploration-y thing where you can hang out and do stuff, that appeals to me even more. So I'm all about that. Like many actually promising Greenlight games, this has a nice expansive Greenlight page with nice headers and pictures and very easy to follow. Little section on gameplay, local co-op. Every central bug is unique, apparently. Procedurally generated like No Man's Sky, except this one has dogs in it and actually can have more than one player in it. So that's already got a leg up on that one. Define your own fun. You can solve all of Central Bark's morning and noon night quests, as they said. Catch bugs and fish, there's the Animal Crossing stuff. Chat with the local dog folk, so you can do whatever you want. And Pug Fashion is listed as a gameplay point, which is the most important bit. Pug Fashion. So that's cool, there's a lot of stuff to read here if you're into that. But everything about this looks good. And like some of the other uh, good light green stuff, I said it again. Green light good stuff. Uh, stuff, uh, the games that we've looked at. I threw myself off there. I, my, my professional improv should be sharper than this. Like all green light good st Not all, I said some. Like some of the other green light good st Fuck me. Like some of the other green light good stuff games we've featured. This one is probably going to get greenlit without my help. They're already in the top 100. They're even on Kickstarter and they are pretty near their goal already. It's, they're 82% funded. Uh, something tells me they're not going to have a massive success over their original goal, but they're definitely going to hit it, I reckon. So that's cool. And I've heard Buds, Butt Sniffing Pugs before. I've heard that name, I'm sure, as a game. A long time ago, I think. Uh, but then again, there's quite a few games out there with pugs in them because the internet, um, at least a few years ago, had a real fascination with pugs. And I think pug love is still strong. Still pretty strong. But with the cadre of established video game themed personalities already involved with this, already bigging it up, as I say, I, th I don't think this one's got any trouble. Uh, I'm a little drop in the ocean. Uh, but I just gotta talk about it because it's about little puppers. They've already got Game Grumps DLC coming to it, and they've got a gif on their Kickstarter showing PewDiePie pulling a fun face while he plays the game. So, like I say, this one 
has got it in the bag, really. But it's funny, you know, before I had a dog myself, before Bartleby came into my little life, I was alright with dogs. You know, I was fine with them. I didn't get in their way, they didn't get in mine. But ever since a dog actually was part of the family, part of the household, um, just... It, it really does change your, your view of dogs. You just, you start to love them all that bit more. Um, you know, they're always cute, most of them, but once you get one, you just start getting really weird about dogs. You look at a dog, and you, if you think the dog looks sad, your day is ruined. But, and, and similarly, you see a game called Butt Sniffing Pugs, and you go, right, I'm dropping everything right now to look at these pugs sniff each other's butts. So that's where the appeal comes for me. Um, definitely looking forward to playing this one in, I guess, 2018. Uh, and I have, again, no doubt this one's getting greenlit, but I can't... No doubt this one's getting greenlit, but can't, can't not talk about it, really. Can't not talk about the pugs and the butts and the sniffing. So that's what I've done. Jobs are good. I'm off. Bye.